Hey gang, Duvall here with an all new review for that new toy smell. So, here we are again. It is that time, yet again, San Diego Comic Con. And with the con comes toy company exclusives, and Mattel is no stranger to making amazing convention exclusives. And this year, one of the many exclusives is one created for the DC Universe line of figures. And it is none other than Plastic Man. A plastic man comes in a normal white shipping box, which we're going to skip. You've seen one white shipper box, you've seen them all. His outer box, on the other hand, features some amazing artwork with Plastic Man highlighted in the center. Opening the box, you find Plastic Man in packaging that very much resembles the current DC Universe packaging, mm, save for the fact that it's made to appear as if Plastic Man himself has become the packaging. And you can also tell he's packaged with a ton of extra parts, and I mean a ton of parts. Upon opening the figure, you find Plastic Man with a spring body attached. But before we get into that figure, let's look at the accessories and how they attach to the figure. Now the figure comes with a spring bottom which can attach to the figure and it goes on and off with little effort and it works really well when it's on and it actually has the give of a bouncy spring. Well that's because it's an actual metal spring wrapped in plastic. Now he has a neck attachment that allows him to appear to have stretched his neck a little bit. Now the piece is easy to put on. You simply pop off the head, pop the new neck joint on, and then pop the head back on. It looks cool and has a bit of give in order to pose the neck and head in different ways. Now he has two separate hand hook-ons, a ball and paddle, and a fly swatter. And the attachments hook on by removing his hands and plugging the attachments into the hole. Now the fly swatter doesn't do much, but the ball and paddle actually could do what a normal ball and paddles do, which is bounce the ball on the paddle, which is something I've never been able to do. And in case you're wondering, the ball is removable from the paddle, but I didn't want to risk pulling it off here. He has two ultra stretchy arms, which are actually very cool. Now here is where Mattel has gone above and beyond in the design of this figure. In order to pop the regular arms off, in order to place the new arms on the body, if you turn him around you find a small button on his back. And by pushing it in, you unlock the ball joint pegs from the body which almost fall out on their own. Keeping the button pressed, you simply plug the new arms, and there you are. The only bad thing about the stretchy arms is that they're a, a much darker red than the rest of his body, which is kind of crappy. And when I mention the arms are stretchy, I mean they are stretchy. Enough to wrap around a hero or a villain. He also, of course, comes with a normal set of legs, which plug in the exact same way the spring does. Now when he has his normal parts on, he looks much like the normal average DCU figure. Same articulation, albeit a new body design that is a little more normal than the average DC body. A little less bulky, but he still looks great, and his extra parts are really what makes the character here. Now he comes with a couple of extra. He has a MetaHuman secret file folder that actually has two separate pages of secret information about the picture and some pictures of the character. And if you pull out the plastic pink glasses from the packaging, they can actually be worn by you. Much like Lobo two years ago, Mattel has created the wearable glasses for the figure since the glasses he wears are an iconic part of the character. And the glasses are made out of a thin plastic and not cardboard or paper, which is nice. Now when you pick this up at San Diego Comic Con, you get a nifty extra that can only be picked up at the con. A luggage attachment that comes wrapped in a plastic bag. Opening the baggage, you see that you can actually attach either sets of arms and the head with the neck extension to the luggage and create Plastic Man disguised as luggage and ready to explore the convention floor to make some good deals. How, you say? Well, if you open up the luggage, you find a nice interior created to hold three mini comics celebrating DC's 75th anniversary. Amazing first issues of Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Now, the suitcase also features a small San Diego Comic Con stamp on the backside, showing that's the only place to obtain it from. Now, this is going to be a must have figure for any DC Universe collector and will be one of the main two must haves for collectors of the convention this year. 
So if you're heading to San Diego, then make sure you fight the crowds and grab this one. And until next time, gang, keep playing with your toys.